I was about four years old when I found out I was getting a new sister. She wasn't a blood sister, she was adopted. She was born with cognitive delays, just like her mother. Having her in my life has really changed the way I've seen the, I've seen the world and has really given me many opportunities and memories that I'll never forget. Throughout the world, there are about one billion people that have some sort of disability. This accounts for around 15% of the world's population. In a show of hands, how many of you have ever seen a person with some sort of disability ever get mistreated or picked on? For those of you who raise your hands, think about how they made you feel, and the next time you see this happen, think about what you can do in order to help that person. At first glance, my little sister looks like a normal 11-year-old with a normal life. However, this is not true. She is a very unique little girl with many differences from her peers. Her mind works very differently from what is considered normal in society. For example, she takes multiple decks of cards and lays them into piles around the house. We aren't sure why she does this, it's just something that entertains her. There's been days she comes home from school and tells us stories about what some kids have said to her, which is exactly why we're up here talking to you now, is to inform you that yes, people with disabilities do get bullied more than people without disabilities are considered normal in society. What we all need to do is start respecting people for their contributions to the world, because everyone brings something to the world that no one else can. For example, ask a farmer and ask him to build a skyscraper. It just wouldn't work. He doesn't have that skill. It's comparing apples to oranges. Asking someone with a disability to be normal isn't right, because that's not what makes them themselves. Everyone is unique and brings their own unique thing to the world. When I was little, I used to get bullied because of my looks and my personality. In order to gain respect from others, I tried out for wrestling, but then I saw the uniforms and I thought, you know, I'm going to try something else. <laughs> <laughs> I then took an interest in karate, for which I've been doing around four years now, and since then I've taken an interest in many other different martial arts. Martial arts had, ma had made me a much better person, not only physically, but mentally. It's taught me to respect others, no matter what their differences may be. Because the people who have no respect at all were the true bullies, because all they care about is themselves and not what they do to others. For me, I've seen many people be bullied, and this includes my little sister. I was walking out of school one day, and I saw a kid that I knew was in her grade. And I asked him, do you know who this person is, which is my little sister. I didn't tell him it was my sister yet. He said, yeah, I know her, and I hate her. And that's when I told him that he, she was my sister, and he went silent instantly. I then asked, so why do you hate her? And he said, well, she's just weird and doesn't act normal. If that's just what this kid said to me, it made me wonder what he has said to her face. Now let's think about this. If everyone in our society is perfect, our world would be very different. One problem with our society is that people are trying to change to fit in with others and try to be accepted. Because of all these put downs, people are changing and it's not what should be happening. If people are constantly changing, they aren't focusing on their purpose in life or stuff that is important, like school and their future. Let's think about the kids with disabilities. They already have troubles making friends. They shouldn't have to worry about fitting in. Everyone needs to learn that respect is a great thing, and respect is all that we need to feel cared about. People tend to not forget about the troubles that others have caused them. And people also don't forget the ones who were kind to them and treated them as a friend. Be a hero in someone's life and get to know someone that you think is in need and you see their head down. And who knows, you might make a new friend. I have a question for you. How respectful are you on a daily basis? If your answer is not very much, the next time you see someone in need, I want you to think about what you can do in order to brighten that person's day. Here's an idea on how to keep track of how respectful you are on a daily basis. Next time you can, create a little seven column chart for each day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And what you're gonna do is that by the end of the day, you're gonna scale yourself on how respectful you were in that box based on a scale of one to 10. 10 being the most respectful and one being the least. And by the end of the week, you're gonna total those numbers up and your goal should be to get it within 65 to 70. And it's that simple. You may think it's hard to brighten someone's day, but all you have to do is be observ observant, open your eyes, and be willing to talk to anyone. There are many opportunities to get out there and get to know people. There's opportunities to get, people with di get to know people with disabilities. For example, my little sister partakes in a league. It's a Miracle, league, miracle Baseball League. And people with disabilities just go out, play baseball, and they have fun. Find your unique contribution and stick on your path. 
Don't let anyone take you off your path. And if you see anyone else falling off their path, help them back on and show them that respect is all you need. Thank you.